We were looking at um, if you have a position function that involves a trig function, cosine here. Positions changing up and down, it's different than obviously than a projectile launching a projectile into the air. Uh, one of the biggest differences is the acceleration is not constant, right? Projectiles acceleration is constant if you ignore wind resistance and all that kind of stuff. In this situation, acceleration is not constant, it's changing, right? Remember that when this is going up and down here, this is, oops, that's not good. Uh, when this is going up and down here, at the bottom, it's being accelerated up. At the top, it's being accelerated down. The acceleration is changing all the time, right? When the position is at the top, the acceleration is negative, meaning it's being accelerated in the downward direction. When the position's at the bottom, it's got a positive acceleration being accelerated up. That's changing the whole time. So there, there is a third derivative that's not zero, which tells you how the, how the derivative of this is changing. Um, at certain points, it's zero, right? If you, look at the, if you look at the slope of this, right? The slope of a graph is its derivative. So the slope of the acceleration is what this thing that they call jerk is, okay? Third derivative, rate of change of acceleration. Just algebraically, what would the function be here? It would be if we we got the derivative of cos is negative sine. The derivative of negative sine is negative cos. The derivative of negative cos is sine, right? We're back to this. We're not back to this, but we're to that. And actually, if you did the derivative again, what would you get? If you did that, not that the next one means anything, but it would just go back to this, right? You'd be back to the back to the original function. If you try to graph that five sine of t, it looks like looks like this, right? Sort of. Okay. So what is that saying? That's if if you're looking at the slopes of the red curve, that gives you the blue curve, right? The place where the place where the acceleration is changing the most in a positive direction is this way, right? That's that's where your acceleration is changing the most in a positive direction. The place where it's changing the most in a negative direction is down there because the slope of this is is like that. The slope of this is here. At the extreme points, the acceleration is changing. It isn't changing, right? The the jerk is zero down there and up there, right? When the position's at its maximums, the acceleration is changing the fastest in the middle, right? When it's when it's going through the middle. Okay, when the position is in the middle right here, that's when the acceleration is changing the most. Uh, it's pretty hard to kind of think what that represents, I know. Um, from the graph, you can obviously read it, but really to try and, I mean, it's hard enough to think about what the second derivative means, acceleration, in terms of that instead of thinking about velocity. But uh, this, I, we've already sort of talked about this here. Uh, constant acceleration of gravity, if acceleration is negative 9.8, just a constant, then we have nothing, right? There's no change. If it's constant, there's no rate of change, right? The rate of change is zero. Uh, we already, you know, did this up here, but it's 5 sine of t, right? Third derivative. It's, it's uh, a prime, or it's v double prime, or it's s triple prime, right? Third derivative. It's the rate of change of acceleration. We've already talked about that a whole bunch, so.